back to the channel. This is Kara, AKA the paint principal painter. Can I speak today? What you are looking at in front of me, yesterday I was very excited that a package had arrived from Diamond Art Club until my husband, Mr. Painter, brought this into the house. Guys, this box. It looks like the Houston Astros have used it for batting practice and then handed it off to the Houston Texans to do tackling drills on. I have never seen a box like this. And I knew what was inside and I was very scared. And guys, this is not Diamond Art Club. This is not Diamond Art Club's fault. This is the postage. And as we know, to say the postage is jacked up right now would be the world's biggest understatement. So. I'm gonna reiterate something that Mrs. Crochet and Coffee has said. Be patient. Do not contact these diamond companies and gripe that you haven't gotten your stuff yet. No one's getting their stuff. I'm not even getting stuff from Amazon Prime in the time that I'm supposed to. Um, postage is really messed up. And as you can see, here is evidence and proof that it is um, because I've never received a Diamond Art Club box like this ever. I was a little scared. Got into it. This box is a little banged up, but much better, much better. And I took a peek inside because I thought, I do not want this canvas to have taken any of this abuse, but Diamond Art Club does pack their things very sturdily. Again, this is, this is the postage and this is their issue. But I did want to show you what was inside. I did not take the item out, did not take the canvas out, nothing. I just wanted to take a peek and make sure that everything was okay, and it was. Thank you. All right, so let me get all this out. Many of you probably have already seen this unboxing, but I just could not help myself. I had to unbox it as well because I loved it. Okay, there are the drills. Take off the plastic, it is in plastic, and as you can see, the canvas was uh, undamaged, which is great. So with Diamond Art Club, you get your clear bag that your canvas comes in. Sometimes these canvases are rolled backwards so the image is on the outside around the drills. This time it wasn't. You do get step-by-step -step instructions to diamond painting for those of you that are new. We got a lot of newbies out there. Uh, this quarantine has helped people to discover this craft and I am so excited uh, for all of you that are new. Uh, don't mean to insult anyone's uh, intelligence that has been in the community for a long time, but I am going to explain some things because as a newbie, people would be talking on their channels and I'd be going, well, what's that? What, what are they talking about? So I'm gonna try to um, make some extra explanations here for you to hopefully uh, help you out. There is a 10% coupon code in this little um, pamphlet and there's tips and tr tricks also for your project. So whatever you do, guys, if you're new to this, have fun. This is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be frustrating. It's not supposed to be stressful. Have fun with it. All right, so. What image did I get? I know it's been unboxed a few times, but I had to do it as well because I just loved it. It's the Cheshire Cat and it's entitled Lose Something because of course he's lost his body. So um, he is precious, he just got to me. There was another cat that Diamond Art Club released a couple of weeks ago. He just kind of seemed a little sinister to me. I like the more happy, cartoony. Um, and for those of you that like the first cat, it was gorgeous as well. I just like this image. So, let's get rid of this box <clears throat> and start unrolling this canvas. Oh, you know what it did not come with, which uh, normally the new ones are coming with, or is the opaque paper. It normally comes with an opaque cover, which means um, it's not the clear plastic. Some people don't like the clear plastic and prefer opaque. Opaque are those covers that are white. Most of them say Sonar Group or the like on it. Uh, you can take the plastic off and put those on most of the canvases, but mine, for some reason, did not come with it. Hmm. And what you do, and you can tell whether it's poured glue or double-sided adhesive by the clarity of this uh, cover, uh, and that is for the most part. It's not 100%, but for the poured glue, you can roll it back like this in order to straighten out your canvas. Do not do this with double-sided tape. You will ruin your painting and cause all kinds of rivers. And what I do is I roll it backwards and then I just kind of zhuzh, just a little zhuzhing there. And then we're gonna show it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, 
And he is more uh, horizontal than vertical, which is a nice change for me. Love it. It is, let's see, it is a 28 by 20 inch, 71 by 51 centimeters. Um, again, this is a round canvas and it does have an AB in it. Actually, no. Yet, no, no, it does not have ABs. It has a glow in the dark diamond in it. So I cannot wait to see these drills, but isn't he adorable? I just loved him and that silly grin on his face. That's gonna be fun to do. All right, let's get into the drills. Sorry about the crinkling in advance. All right. And I'm wondering before I start looking at these, what? is the glow in the dark. I'm assuming it's this uh, dark X, which is E310. So I'm thinking, um, I don't know why it doesn't say G310 for glow in the dark, but, um, and I'm seeing a lot of these, um, so, sorry, it's a percent sign, I'm blind. All this blue around his mouth, the whiskers around the nose, in the eyes, eyebrows, all of this black, this black symbol, um, if my Mr. Painter can get you down close. Here, I'll pull back the cover so there might be a little bit of glare so you can see it. But all of this black symbol with the blue percent, that's all AB, or excuse me, all, I keep saying AB, all glow in the dark. Are you getting this? So they can see it. That is gonna be so cool. There's also some, again, around the face area seems to be where all these are. So that, when you turn off the lights, it's gonna glow. And also, I say this every single time, for those of you that are new, it looks like this canvas has rivers and bubbles. It's just the plastic cover. It's not a problem whatsoever. This canvas is perfectly flat and pristine under this plastic covering, so you're all good there get it a little bit flatter, but I'm not gonna fight with it that long. All right, so here he is. Let's see what we got and see if we can find that glow in the dark. Oh my God, these colors, guys. These colors though, look at the pinks. <gasps> okay, let's start here, 939. 36 out of seven, that's so pretty. 3865, 823. 3609, that's pretty pink. Oh, and for those of you that stick with me to the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you about that package over there at the end and do a little bit of the teaser. All right, 814, 600, 550, pretty purple. 963, 602, 3326, lots of pinks in here. 603, 601, 498, 718, pretty fuchsia, 3733, 819, 3731, and 917, another really pretty dark pink. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, okay, here's where we're gonna get to the glow in the dark, folks. 3608, 915, and here are your glow in the dark guys. And it's interesting, they're black, E310. So those are your two glow in the dark bags. So I may have to go try those out tonight, put them under a light and then go see how much they glow. I bet those are gonna be cool. All right, 154, which is a deep dark cranberry. 310, four bags of 310. All right, and here are the babies. Put them the right way for you. All right, 961. 3837, 2311. And guys, these numbers, uh, for those of you that are new, are all DMC codes. Uh, DMC codes also match cross stitching. If you're familiar with DMC colors and cross stitching, it's these colors 762, 3350, 415, 318. 414, some grays, 321, 208, some orange too, 742, 726, 745, 740, 597, 741, 
$8.98, looks like an $8.98 jumped into the $7.41 party. Uh, $5.98 and $9.07, those are gonna be um, probably, possibly your accent colors. So those are all the drills for this bad boy. And let me flip him back over and I am looking, I'm reminded of something. I, that's really weird, I, I don't need it but I did not get a toolkit with this, so that's very odd as well. I've got plenty of toolkits. You will get a toolkit with every painting that you purchase. Possibly someone forgot to put it in. It's not a big deal to me because I've got plenty. All right, so that is Lose Something. That's gonna be fun. I ordered two more Diamond Art Clubs yesterday and today. So I'll be unboxing those. And to end the video session, I did get another order of Super sticky patty wax that I use in my single placer. Love it, and I love these tins. Look at this one, tea party. And inside the tin, you've got your super sticky patty wax that you use in your pen in order to pick up the diamonds. I thought that was really pretty. Kind of matches him, huh? And I got a note, and I've read it, it's so funny. It's from Ben, it's from Robin's husband again, and it's hysterical. It says, hi Kara, thank you for your order. Robin is keeping me too busy to watch YouTube. Help, Ben. <laughs> He's so funny. And then, um, caution, big fish crossing, and Ben has, uh, has written out, not Ben, LOL. So uh, he is obviously maybe not a big fisher fisherman. So, alrighty, that is my video for today. Now, I'm gonna do a little teaser for those of you that have stuck with me this whole time. I said I would. This is from Distracted by Diamonds from Robin herself. My birthday is coming up uh, this week, May 28th is my birthday. So I will be unboxing this from Robin on my birthday. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're gonna have to tune in on May 28th and I'll put that video up and I, I will unbox uh, this beauty on my birthday. Thank you so much, Robin, for the wonderful gift. I cannot wait to see it. All right, that's all I got for you today, folks. Hope you're having a great Memorial Day weekend, staying in, staying safe. Um, thinking about all of you, uh, I do miss getting out, but uh, again, we've got to stay healthy and we've got to stay safe. So that is it. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. I always like to try to remind you of that. All right, this is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.